This Power BI report, prepared by Advaya, uses the data from the website of Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on the number of patients diagnosed with diabetes for each state in the U.S. for each year from 1994 to 2014. A trend chart shows the number of patients diagnosed with diabetes by year. Five shape maps for five-year increments from 1994 to 2014 use a common legend across the five for the number of patients to show the growth and highlight the states with least and most number of patients. The number of patients in any state is probably just representative of the population of the state rather than the extent to which obesity and diabetes are spread across the state. Hence, it is important to look at the percentage of people with diabetes and obesity rather than the raw numbers. Bar charts showing the states in a descending order of the average percentage of adults with diagnosed diabetes and obesity enable a quick identification of best and worst states. Arkansas, West Virginia, Mississippi, and Alabama are among the worst five, both in terms of diabetes and obesity percentage. It is easy to see in the obesity chart that the states in black color bars with more than a million diabetes patient are not necessarily the ones with the highest percentage of obesity. In the third tab, as you select the years in the year slicer, you can see how diabetes percentage and obesity percentage have grown side by side. We have a lot of states now that have more than 10% of adult population with diabetes and more than 30% of adult population with obesity. The waffle charts are another way to show how that diabetes and obesity have grown over the years and across the states. Finally, a scatter plot and a calculated measure depict the strong correlation between diabetes and obesity. This concludes our showcase. Feel free to reach out to us at connect at advaya.com for any questions. Thank you for watching.